Okay, so let's continue with our Kafka Python tutorial series. So in the last video, we have seen low compaction. So what is the low compaction, right? Now in this video, we will like learn one more terminology that is Kafka tombstone, right? So similarly, like in last video, we did not uh, low compaction. So low compaction is a, you can say fancy keyword, but uh, ideally it's just a kind of a, some setting, right? So in the same way, tombstone, is kind of a fancy keyword, but the topic is very easy. But in general Kafka terminology, we are like, if someone has to say something, then they are going to say low compaction Kafka tombstone. So you should know this terminology as well. So we are going to learn about the Kafka tombstone. So what is Kafka tombstone? All right. So, and we are going to do in the practical. So before that, our Kafka cluster should be up. So after our Kafka cluster is up and running, and there is no topic, there is no schema, and nothing is there. All right. So what is Kafka tombstone? So Kafka tombstone is a kind of delete the deleting the Kafka records. So if I just say deleting the Kafka records, then it is just a plain English, right? But the technical term is called as a Kafka tombstone. So tombstone is a special message used to indicate the deletion of a record associated with a specific key. It is essentially a flag that tells customer that the key no longer exists. So what exactly does it mean? So let's uh, suppose we are publishing some messages into our Kafka cluster. So these are the example. So we publish some message. So this is my user ID, one, two, three. And uh, I enter some email, user123 at the gmail.com. All right. Then user want to update uh, his or her email ID. Then user is going to publish same message, publish different message, but with the, for the same user. So key will be same, but the message will be uh, like value will be different, right? So new email on one, two, three at the gmail.com. Now, now user want to delete their account. So if the user want to delete their account, he has to publish something, but now he will publish the key with one, two, three, but value should be none. So this is called as a tombstone. So when we delete the record into the Kafka, so deleting the record in the Kafka generally means whatever the key, like whatever the record we are deleting. So ID is one, two, three, so right? So we are deleting this ID one, two, three. What we have to do is earlier, we are passing some valid JSON message, Avro message in the in our actual message, right? So now we have to just pass none in our actual message. So when we pass none in our actual message, then it is called as a tombstone, or you can say the record has been deleted. But in actual way, it is marked as deleted. It is marked as deleted, and it is going to be deleted using the low compactions. That's why we covered the low compaction earlier. So let's uh, try that. So we jump into the Python code. So this is our, our Avro producer code, which we have wrote in our like last video. So we are going to modify this a little bit. What we are going to modify is because if I just run this, it is going to every time insert the record, right? So what I want is just take some input from the user and going to ask, do you want to insert the record or do you want to delete the record? Right? So I will say action and uh, input enter insert to add the record or delete for tombstone, All right? So basically to delete the record and then strip, then dot lower. So if action is equal to insert, insert, if action is equal to insert, then I am going to perform all the same step which I am performing in the last video, All right? That is which we are like uh, publishing the message, right? But if action is equal to elif, action is equal to delete, then what I have to do is, so, so I have to delete something. So first I will ask the uh, user, okay, for which user ID you want to delete the record? So because let me, so we need to accept the user ID because I, I, I have told you to delete something, we should know the ID, right? So for which user, for which key you are going to delete the values, right? So that's why I am accepting the ID. Okay, now I am just going to publish the message, right? 
so we are going to do a little change so when i click on the send message so in the send message it is just a message right so what i will do is i will take a key and value and by default key is equal to none and value is equal to also none just like do a little change and when i send the message so i am going to pass a key so key is equal to user id all right and value is equal to this one all right so when i click here it will it will run like this and here it should be value and we are going to this value avro byte value and avro byte value and key will be whatever the key is coming so whatever the key is coming so message of user id so whatever the key is coming all right and we are going to convert it to the string and here it should be value all right and uh, okay so we did that now when the action is delayed so as what i told you when the action oh, so key is equal to so here for you key is equal to user id and value is equal to this but in case of delete key will be the user id and value should be none value should be none so we are not going to pass the value because i told you tombstone means when we have to delete anything from the kafka topic for that particular key we will make the value as a none we will make the value as a none so we are not going to pass the value value as a none sometimes what the people will like uh, do some mistake is so they try to pass some empty string so empty string is not a none right so make sure and you should not pass the empty string so empty string is, is not a none we have to pass a none because if we pass the empty string it has some bytes it means it has a payload we don't have to pass the payload it means we have to pass the none right so when it go to the send message so for the particular key so it is going to uh, it is going to run that now what i have to do is if value then it is going to convert into avro byte otherwise otherwise and i can say i or we can yeah i can say avro byte is equal to none all right so now when the message when the action is delete so this function is going to be called for the particular user for the particular user key and because we are not passing the value so value will be none so if the value is none so then uh, the none will be set and we are going to pass the none here and the for the particular key it is going to pass all right so yeah that's it so let's try to run the code python avro producer dot py so it says enter inserter or to add the record or delete to four tombstone so first we are going to insert so enter user id so one two three enter first name enter middle name enter enter last name enter age 23 and enter email so user one two three at the rate gmail.com all right so message has been sent so let's uh, go to the kafka cluster and go to the topic so our topic has been created and our message is there right so our message is there and our message is published now let's suppose i want to delete this record or instead of delete this record i want to update this record right so again insert right so for the same user one two three for the same name i want to update the correct age and maybe the correct uh, new email new email one two three at the rate gmail.com right so the new message will be published so the new message has been published right so new message has, has been published all right but how the user is going to be know this message is the latest or this message has been latest right so for that we can enable the we can enable the low compaction so if we go to the configuration and the cleaner policy is delete so we will come here and we will select the compact or save changes so now the cleanup policy has been set as a compact. So it means compaction has been enabled. So once the compaction has been enabled, 
the compact job is going to be triggered at the back end. What it is going to do is it is going to remove the duplicate key. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. And which one is later? So the second one is later. So it is going to delete the first one. So when the compaction is going to be run. All right. Okay. Now, now I, I want to delete the whole record. I don't, I, I want to delete the whole record. So I will publish delete and for this user ID, enter one, two, three. Okay. So it is a non type has no length. Okay. So something is wrong. So we are passing none, but we are still calculating the value. So let's go here. So we have the send message. So we are going to calculate this when we have value. When we have value. All right. Okay. Now let's try to run again. Python Avro producer now i want to delete so for the user one two three so for the user one two three i enter and the record has been published so let's refresh it so you could see the record has been published and it is marked as a tombstone so ideally it, it come as a null but it is coming as a tombstone here so hopefully we are not passing something like tombstone and uh, yeah so it is coming as a tombstone so it is marked for the deletion it is marked for the deletion so and we have the low compaction is un unable on our kafka topic so whenever the compaction is going to be run so what will happen it is it will it will for the same key it found three records for the same key it found three record one which is inserted one which is updated and one which is deleted right so it found three record and because the compaction is unable so what it is going to do is it is going to keep the last record only that is the tombstone record only and the first two records are going to be get deleted sooner once the compaction process is going to be run at the back end so this is the background process which is going to be run time to time all right so after that once the compaction is unable so the first two message so currently you we are able to see all the three messages but because the compaction is unable and we also publish a tombstone message. So only one message is going to be remain. That is one, two, three and keep. So now when the user is going to consume the message, so the user is only only able to find the particular, uh, because the first two messages are going to be deleted because of the compaction and user is only going to get this message. So that is, which has key one, two, three and value has a none. So when the user finds the value as a none, then user has user will say, okay, the particular data has been deleted. Or in case of the GDPR, because in the Europe countries, the GDPR has been unable or data protection has been unable. So maybe some user uh, has published, uh, we have like in our Kafka topics, so we are storing some data for the user, right? So now the user say, I don't want to, I don't, I'm, I'm not giving my consent to store the data. So what I have to do is, what we have to do is, we are just going to publish the tombstone to delete their records from the Kafka topic. So we are going to publish the tombstone. Or... In, in those cases, like uh, let's suppose you are going to publish some data, but by mistake you publish the wrong data. So now you have to update, uh, you have to publish the correct data. So you publish the correct data. And later on you said, no, 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 I don't want, I even don't want to publish this data. So you have to publish the tombstone. The tombstone basically means in normal English term. So you have to delete the record. So that's why tombstone work with the, in like a parallel with the low compaction. So if you come here, Tombstone is a special message. So it is a special message, right? So you could say it is a special message, right? Used to indicate the deletion of a record. So which is going to, even if you see there is a delete button, right? Used to indicate the deletion of a record associated with a specific key, associated with a specific key, right? And it is essentially a flag that tell customer the key no longer has valid data, that the particular key has no longer valid data. So it is a kind of a flag which is going to tell the customer that particular key doesn't have the valid data. Okay. A tombstone record is a regular Kafka message. So you could say it is a normal regular Kafka message because we have not changed anything from the code perspective. Uh, instead of that, instead of value, we are passing none. That's it. Other than like it's a normal like our producer code. All right. So it is a normal Kafka message with the same key as the record, but the null value for the payload. Right. 
the main problem is sometimes people will do is a null payload is a payload with zero bytes. A possible mistake here the people will do is they are going to pass the null string. So which is which like it is not treated as a like a tombstone stone. So all right, so we have to pass the null. Okay. Tombstone are only relevant with the compacted topics. In Kafka, compaction is an optimization technique that removes older version of. So we already cover like a compaction. What is the low compaction? So low compaction, it is going to, it is a kind of a technique which is going to remove the older version of a record with the same key. Because we we already like uh, uh, enable the low compaction on the Kafka topic. So when the compaction is going to be run at the back, back end, on the particular topic on the particular partition so it is going to delete uh, the older records right so keeping only the latest one and the latest one in our case is the tombstone so which is marked for the deletion right so it's a very like a small topic but it is very useful uh, in our actual project and this term especially this term is very useful you should know because maybe in the interview they said okay what is kafka tombstone you said, oh, no, I don't know what is Kafka to some, but, but the same question the interview asked in different way. Okay, do you know how to delete the record? Then you say, yes, I know how to delete the record, just passing the payload as a none or the message as a none. So ideally, you should know both the terminology. So we call it as a Kafka tombstone. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's the end of the video. And uh, thank you.